I'ma keep it a bean. Stick to the script every scene. This from last year, but they clean. Say to say, I'ma take some else, but it's winning team. Charlie Sheen, fam gang, the regime. I'm from Piney Green. It's been overdue forever. forever. Ask me when it was dropping, said never. Never. Should've made you cut the feather. But I designed it Freemason Margella. What's good, Shell Trying to the most smoke, no joking on that. Again with a brand new video, and today I have some decently big news for you guys. The Carolina Panthers are still making moves. It's very, very late May, borderline June right now, and the Panthers are still signing players. Yesterday, in the middle of the whole OTA sessions, the Panthers have just signed offensive guard Kofi Amichia, and this is a guy who was probably looking at, you know, fighting for a role as a second, maybe even a third string guy. He's a guard, like I said, he's not gonna be really fighting for a starting role on the team. But something I've been mentioning for a while now, thus picking up a lot of these offensive linemen, these tight ends, this kind of stuff, it really does seem like the team is looking long and hard for finding the best players to make sure that if a guy goes down on the offensive line, we have a next man up kind of mentality and there's always going to be some quality guys backing up the starters. We have a lot of guys who are borderline starter level talent. And honestly, we're looking at having probably one of the best backup offensive lines in the league now best case scenario we never ever see these guys but it is going to have insurance for you know if and when a guy does go down because every team in the nfl experiences uh injuries throughout the season it's just a, it's, it's just a natural thing football is one of the most violent sports in the world so it, it, people are gonna get injured in the o-line and obviously the d-line as well are the only two position groups that experience contact on every single play every single down you're gonna see the o-line get touched you see the d-line get touched it's not a guarantee this guy makes the team but i can really respect us putting in the work and doing the due diligence and making sure that we can find the right pieces and find guys i mean find whatever we can wherever we can to make things work that's all i have for you on this kofi amichia signing but just one more thing i want to touch on here if you remember a few days ago i did a video about the team having some kind of interest and uh, defensive tackle Gerald McCoy, who was playing for the Bucks for the last 10 years, and I said it wasn't going to happen. It was just like, you know, the team is looking, just like window shopping, kind of not really being serious about it. There have been reports that have come out recently, I'll put a tweet up right here, that suggest the Panthers are a lot more serious about picking up Gerald McCoy than uh, we actually first expected. Now, I'm not sure with what money you might be thinking to yourself. We have the 9 mil right now, plus the 7 mil coming in on the first, which is actually in a couple days. We'll be getting a lot more content soon. I was wrong about this being a slow content time of the year because we will probably be getting some content coming up very soon in the next few days. But anyway, you, I mean, we still have to sign Brian Burns. I think we have to sign Greg Little as well still. So that money is basically already gone. Maybe $5 million in the wiggle room. I don't think Gerald McCoy is going to be taking any kind of one-year prove-it deal or any kind of slow money. He's probably trying to play the uh, the Ravens to get him a lot more money. I think it's the Ravens and the Rams who are in the running for him. The Ravens and the Browns, actually. And they have a lot of cap space. But there was a tweet from Jordan Rodriguez earlier today talking about how an NFL exec once told her in the past that nobody is out of anybody's price range if they want them bad enough. So it just depends on how bad the Panthers actually want Gerald McCoy. That's a tough one. I don't know how to feel about that one, but I guess I'll do a video, a full video on that if there is a development, meaning if we actually do sign him or we actually bring him in for a visit. As of right now, it works as a, as a back end on this video. This doesn't mean all that much to me until something concrete happens. But that's all I got for you today, man. What are your thoughts on both these moves, both the signing of the offensive guard, Amicia, and Joe McCoy, and the growing interest in him, and maybe even the money we have to spend to pick him up? He is not taking some kind of cheap deal. I can tell you that right now, man. If you haven't yet, peep my pinned comment below for ways to support the channel. You can sign the petition there to get the Panthers to partner with us, man. I don't know where we're at. I haven't actually been promoting the petition in like a week now, maybe a week and a half, two weeks. But I think we're at over 600 signatures, and that's a lot of support from you guys, man. And even if we do not make it, just know that I really, really do appreciate you guys, and I might do something to say thanks to you guys a little bit later on down the road, no matter what happens, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you already know to do that like button. Cheers to you, appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win.